This video will show you how to do pair sample t-test using R Commander. The example I'm going to use is about reduction in body mass index. We have seven subjects went through a diet program. We observed their body mass index before and after the diet program. So to use R Commander to do the pair sample t-test, first you have to create your data. And I have two sets of data. One is from before, one is from after. So for each subject, a pair of data is, ob is observed. And to run the pair sample t-test, first we have to check normality assumption. And that's the normality of the pair differences. To do that first, we have to create this pair differences. And that's by click on data and then select manage variable in active data set and choose and click compute new variable and I'm going to generate a new variable I call it DIFF that's pair differences and I will use before so I double click on before and then type minus and then double click on after so this will give me before minus after you can also it's simply just type in before minus after instead of clicking double click on the variable name if I click OK a new variable will be generated so if I view the data set I will see that the differences these seven differences then we can check the normality for these differences by click on statistic summary Shapiro works test for normality and then check the difference and click OK. So the normality test from the difference has a p-value higher than 0.05, which means we, ac we can accept the normality assumption for doing this pair sample t-test. Since the normality assumption is checked, I can then start my pair sample t-test. To do that, click on statistic, means, select means, and pair t-test. I we'll choose before first, so we are comparing before and with after. And the difference is going to be before minus after. Okay, so first variable is before, and next variable is after. If you only want to test whether there is a significant difference, then you pick two-sided test. If you want to see whether there is a significant reduction in BMI, then we expect an alternative that before is greater than after so the difference between before and after should be a positive number so if you want to do one-sided test to see whether there is significant reduction then your alternative hypothesis is that the difference is greater than zero so I'm going to check on difference greater than zero and I'll click OK now get my p-value for the pair sample test and this p-value is less than 0.05 that means I can conclude that we will reject the null hypothesis and support the alternative that statistically there is significant reduction in BMI based on the data. Now if you want to do the confidence interval estimate for average reduction in BMI, you have to reround this since you were using one-sided tests. If you do one-sided tests, you'll only get one-sided confidence interval. If you need two-sided confidence interval, I click on statistic means and rerun the procedure I'm going to keep it at two-sided and confidence level is 95 percent so I'm going to do it the same before as the first variable after the second variable and click OK then you will get the 95 percent confidence in the estimate lower limit and upper limit for estimating the average reduction in BMI